What's going on guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets again. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we share insights and meditations with you designed to help you become a better person, warrior, and leader. What we're talking about today is attaining your goals and getting exactly what you want the warrior way. There is a process to this. It takes hard work. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes a lot of work. But if you're willing to put that work in and you're willing to focus, you could attain your goals. And I'm going to tell you exactly how right now. The first thing we need to do is decide what it is that we want. Because it's going to be important that we're crystal clear on what we want to do. That might seem redundant. That might sound like, well, of course I know what I want. Like, what well, do you though? Because once you decide what you want, you're going to put most of your focus and energy into attaining this one thing or this. It could be a couple of things. But it's very important that we're clear about what we want. Sit down and meditate on it. And I don't mean meditate like, um, I mean meditate by thinking about it. Attain the clarity on exactly what it is that you want. Write it down. The couple of things that you're going to work your ass off to achieve. It could be material in nature, more money, a better job. It could be spiritual in nature, more enlightenment, wisdom, clarity in life overall. It could be physical, a better physique, better results from your workouts, becoming a better fighter, a warrior. All of these things are incredibly attainable and incredibly noble feats and quests. And once we decide that these are the things that we want to attain, the next part is eliminating all distractions that are going to, frankly, distract us from attaining these things. That could be distancing yourself slightly from people, certain people. There are people out there who don't understand our goals. And they're not going to aid us in our journey towards this path. And it's nothing personal on them. They simply don't understand what it is that we're going for or why we're doing it. And it's not necessary to cut them out completely and like call them up out of the blue and say, fuck you, get out of here. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like that's inappropriate. But it can be important to put a little bit of distance between you and them talk to them a little bit less and a little bit less because anybody who's not going to help you and aid you in this path or at least understand this path can potentially knock you off your trajectory so it's going to be important for these people for now at least to put a little bit of distance in between you and them other distractions that we're going to want to stay away from, well, could be media. Could be consuming too much social media, the wrong type of social media. Obviously, stuff like this is good for you, but there's stuff out there that's bad for you. Mindless stuff, mainstream, lame, lame stream media, <laughs> pretty bad for you, right? Things that aren't directly programming you in a positive manner. Why do you think they call it television programs? It programs you. So these things that are programming you in a nonsensical or worse, a bad way, eliminate them. They're distractions and you don't need those distractions in your life. Another thing that we're going to want to focus on is maintaining good discipline. Good discipline is essential for the warrior. Why the hell do you think that in every military around the world, it's so disciplined? It's not only so that you can perform well in battle and listen to orders and follow orders. It's an all-around mindset of the warrior to maintain proper discipline at all times. And it's even more noble. It's even more expected, frankly, that you have self-discipline. This is one reason that 
I am adamant about making your bed in the morning. I don't care if you're in a rush. At least fucking throw the comforter on and put the pillows on properly. This one thing alone, it sounds silly. It seems whatever. I make my bed every single freaking morning, regardless of what's happening. It instills so much discipline for the rest of the day. It is essential in my mind. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be hospital squares or anything, but it should be made. Besides, when you go to bed at night, seeing that cleanly, freshly made bed is going to just put you in such a disciplined mindset. Another thing is keeping a strict exercise routine. You have zero excuses not to do this. Exercise puts you in an extremely positive mindset. It will aid you in everything else that you do throughout the day. It doesn't have to be first thing in the morning. You know, I see these videos about guys and they're getting up at five in the morning to go do PT and work out. And it's like, for me personally, I get it. Getting up with the sunrise is awesome and everything. And I think it's very good for you, but it's not necessary. I don't care what time you wake up. Like if you wake up at fucking noon, you should exercise. And it doesn't have to be right when you wake up. It could be later in the day. But getting that exercise in, forcing yourself to PT, forcing yourself to go and do whatever type of exercise it is that you are doing, instills discipline. And it hardens the body. And it hardens the mind. It is essential. If you are in good physical condition, everything else is easier. And you automatically have a huge leg up on most of society, frankly, because most people out there these days are fat slobs and they're out of shape. They don't have good cardio. They don't have good muscles. They don't have anything. They're weak-minded. But those of you who work out, those of us who work out regularly, and when I say regularly, I mean like almost every day. Of course, we need sensible rest, but we need to also have a sensible exercise program for ourselves. PT is essential. This will aid you in going forth and attaining those goals that you want with discipline. And another component of this is a clean diet. I know food's great. I love food. All right. I'm a foodie. I get it. But if you can have the discipline every day to eat clean, and I'm not necessarily saying eat clean like a bodybuilder where you're getting up and eating egg whites and like two strawberries <clears throat> and like a quarter cup of oatmeal, right? I'm not saying that. I am saying though, eating clean anabolic food for the most part. Obviously, it's appropriate to have some junk every once in a while. Even if you're the type of person with a metabolism that you can handle junk, it doesn't matter. You need to force yourself to eat a relatively clean diet because this will aid your mind. And this will aid your self-discipline. Our body is a temple. And what we put in it affects us. It affects our mindset. Even scientifically, it affects the way that we think. So eating a fairly clean diet is very important. The other thing I have down here is not listening to other people because they will try to bring you down consciously or unconsciously. A lot of the times they don't want to see somebody succeed more than they do. There are rare people out there like myself who I love to see other people succeed and it feeds me when I see other people succeed. I say, yes, I'm glad this mother flower succeeded. I want to do the same thing. A lot of people aren't like that. Most of you probably are like that. You like to see others succeed. You want to see others do well. Warriors in general have that mindset. But a lot of people, as we all know, are not warriors. And they don't have that mindset. And you should really take that to heart and realize that. Not that you have to necessarily steer clear of those people. But you should be aware of that. And probably not discuss your goals with them too much. While we're doing that, we need to plan waypoints along the way. Those of you guys who have been in the military or done land nav, 
know how important waypoints can be. Such in life, the path that we are on, the path that we are mapping out, that we are plotting out, needs to have waypoints. We need to have little places along the way, little victories along the way, where we can say, yes, I am on the right path. I have reached this small little goal. The next one is in sight. Is a, it is attainable. Thusly, if we're rucking around or we're going somewhere, just keep it simple. If we're going somewhere, navigating somewhere, we need to have places, physical landmarks along the way where we can say, yes, yes, yes. This, uh, this hill here, this hill with this landmark on it, this hill with this rock structure on it. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, it's supposed to be right here. And the next way mark is over this hill and a mile, mile up. Well, the same thing goes for our life. We need to plot out physical weight, or not necessarily physical, but weight, waypoints, mile markers for ourselves so that we can see, for example, and this is just an example, getting your body in a better physical condition. These are ten, ten, tenable, tenable, tenable things that we can see. Yes, I've lost another pound this week. I'm on the right track. Yes, I can see I'm getting abs finally. I'm on the right track. Yes, I can see my muscle mass is improving. I'm on the right track. Or looking at your bank account. Yeah, you know what? I made an extra 300 bucks this week. I'm on the right track. And so on and so forth. Mile markers, waypoints, they are essential. Build through incremental progress. There is a song by Johnny Cash. I got it one step at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. I love that song because that's how I've lived my life. I always get what I want, and I get it one step at a time. It's so important. Don't be afraid to get things one step at a time. Don't be too prideful to go after scraps either. You know what? That sale that you make that's $28 might not break your bank, right? It might not like buy you a new Corvette, but it's getting you closer. It's $28 you hadn't had before, right? So those little things, those little, little things. I know some of you are into the dating advice, right? And I don't, I typically steer away from that. But, you know, I say this, uh, I give guys advice, younger guys who are asking me about dating and stuff. I always say on the first date, go for the, go for the kiss. Go, go for it on the first date. It'll gauge your interest. And if you get a kiss and you get nothing else, you've got a kiss from a beautiful woman, right? And if she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. She probably, probably won't want to do it in the future, but. Not only is that gauging interest, that's also giving you little small victories, right? Again, with the getting in shape, and these are just examples. I ate clean today. That's a huge victory. Honestly, in a world where we can eat almost anything we want all the time, I live in a city. I could go on DoorDash right now and get food from like a bunch of different places delivered to my door. I don't do that. Why? I need to eat clean. This is part of my goals. At the end of the day, when I can say, you know what? I ate clean today. I ate all of the meals that I was supposed to eat and not too, too much more. That's a huge victory. We need to be able to go after these scraps, I call them. Because you know what? <laughs> Eventually, if you take a bunch of scraps and put them together, you've got a feast. Positive mindset is essential. And positive self-talk. Yeah, that might sound silly. It might sound stupid, even, to some of you. But the way that we talk to ourselves, we all talk to ourselves. Whether it's out loud or not, you know, even in our mind, we all talk to ourselves. The way that we do that is essential. If you're sitting around beating yourself up, saying, oh, I'm such a fuck up, I should have done that, this and that. 
Maybe you shouldn't have done it. But what did you do right? Uh, you know what? Like, I fucked that up. But, you know, I, I did this other thing really, like, pretty pretty good. And even though this isn't going the way I planned, like, these things are. And I'm going to turn that around and make sure that I learn from that and I'm going to move forward. This is the way that we should be talking to ourselves. Even you can take it a step further and be conceited with yourself. I am i don't think there's much wrong with an ego as long as it's productive, right? You can tell yourself, I'm the fucking man because I did this. Like, Not many other people could lift this much weight. Not many other people could do this intense exercise program. I'm pretty freaking dope for doing that. Like, that's good. It, believe it or not, like some people will tell you, oh, get rid of your ego, this and that. That's for the birds, all right? I got an ego. <laughs> and that's how I win. And that's how winners win because they have an ego. You think powerful CEOs of Fortune 500 companies don't have an ego? No, they have an ego. And that's why they win. And they talk to themselves the right way. The way that they think, yeah, I win and I'm going to keep winning. And that's all there is to it. And other people are fucking losers because they can't win like me. I'm going to keep winning. <laughs> you know, it might sound conceited. It is, but it's not a bad thing either. Affirmations can help as well. Literally standing in front of the mirror and saying affirmations. Again, to some of you, this might sound hokey pokey, but it's not. And it works. And there's science to back this up. Standing in front of the mirror and telling yourself, I am healthy, wealthy, wise. I'm going after what I want. I'm going to get it. These things literally change the way that our neurons and our brain work and they cause positive results. Don't be afraid to do this. Keep in mind that few people can do this. The path that you are walking is a unique and an elite one if you are doing this. If you are doing all of these things or most of these things, if you are eating clean, if you are maintaining good discipline in your personal life and your professional life, if you are doing what you need to do, keeping your home clean, your space clean, all of these things, working out on the regular that instill discipline into the warrior. If you're doing that alone, you are ahead of the crowd, my friend. And you should commend yourself for it because this is an elite club. Most people don't have that much discipline. Stick with your goal all the way through until the end. And when you have met that goal, when you have attained this goal, set another one right away. Let that momentum carry you through to the next goal and the next goal and the next goal. This is the way, my friend. This is the way. This is the path to getting what you want out of life. It doesn't have to be you sitting around asking yourself, what the fuck am I doing? It could be you sitting around telling yourself, I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing and what I want to be doing. And I'm enjoying the fucking shit out of every moment of it. Probably not. If you have good discipline, you won't be enjoying every single moment of it. But you will also learn to embrace the suck. And that, my friends, is the way of the warrior. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel or consider doing so if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. If you can, put a co positive comment down below for other warriors out there and encourage your brothers and sisters along their path as well. Go to fightingsecrets.com. We've got great hand-to-hand -hand combat training, direct download programs, and DVDs available over there. And until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. I'll see you on the next hand-to-hand -hand combat video this weekend. Cheers, Milk Flowers.